Hello guys, welcome to binaryicos.com. This is a Wireshark training part 9 saving packets. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to save packets in the Wireshark using a different type of methods. Okay, first open the Wireshark and open our previous capture file capture1.pkpng. So, this is all the live capture of our previous capture file of my website binaryhackers.com suppose you want to save all this live capture on the particular folder so go to the file click on save as give your name or any name so it will save all this packet from the packet list pane and it will save all this packet in your desktop the another method is if you want to save a particular range of packet. So this is total number of packet is 1291 and suppose if you want to save a range of 1 to 25 suppose if you want to save only 1 to 25 packets from this all live capture go to the file click on the export specified packets and select a folder by like example and choose this radio button range and give a range like 1 to 25 your file name range and save so it will save packet range from 1 to 25 let's open this range for range file and you can see right here on the status bar the total number of packets is 25 so it will save all this packet 1 to 25 range so this range method used to select a particular range and save that particular range of packets the another packet is a uh, mark packet so if you want to save a mark packet like i'm going to select the first packet mark on the first packet the fifth one on the mark packet 11th mark packet so i just mark three packet packet one five and eleven and you can see on the status bar the total number of mark packet is three and if you want to save this three packets only this three packet go to the file export specific packet click on the mark packet and you can see the capture and display mark packet is 3 give a name like mark and save so the first packet is to call browser dns and tcp so let's check the mark packet and this is our 3 mark packet the browser dns and tcp this is the method to save the mark packet first let's unmark all this packet okay the another method is save the range of mark packet okay the meaning of it uh, suppose I'm going to select the first packet and mark the first packet and then I'm going to select the 50 packet number 50 and just mark this packet number 50 so the total number of mark packet is 2 the packet number 1 and the packet number 50 and I want to save the all this packet from packet number 1 to packet number 50 so go to the file export specific specified packet and choose this option first to last mark and you can see the display and capture you can see the total number of packet is 50 so it will save the packet number 1 to 50 that mark packet suppose the name first to last mark let's check and you can see on the status bar the total number of packet is a 50 starting from 1 and end with the 50 
so this is method to save the range of marked packet the another uh, saving method is selected packet suppose I'm going to select this packet packet number 43 uh, firstly on the mark all this display packet okay I'm going to select the packet number 43 and I want to save only this packet packet number 43 I don't want any other packet go to the file export specified packets and choose this option the selected packet and you can see the selected packet number is 1 and my selected packet is 43 number 43 so it will select and save only this 14 3 number packet from the y action so give any name and save so it will select that specific packet the last method to save the packet file is the filter your packet a particular packet and save that particular packet for example in this case I'm going to filter only a DNS packet so type DNS apply so it will sort out all the DNS packet from the available packets in the packet list pane and you can see the on the status bar the dis total number of packet is 1291 and display packet is 42 so I want to save all this DNS packet the 42 packets on the separate file the export specified packet and in this case you can see the capture num pack packet is 1291 so make sure that you click on the display packet don't click on the capture packet so it will save all the packets from the, your file just click on the display packet and the total number of packet is 42 on example give a name like DNS and save so it will save only the DNS packet let's see open the DNS file and you can see all the DNS packet is saved so this is the method of filter any particular packet and save in the workshop so this is the end of part 9 See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.